Hi, my name is Greg and I'm the pastor here at FBC Medford. Today is Friday, July 7th, 2023. Welcome to today's FBC eConnect. NBA basketball player Kurt Rambis is most well known because of the thick-rimmed black glasses he wore while playing for the Los Angeles Lakers. Rambis was not a great NBA player. He came off of the bench as a utility player. His job was to play defense and get rebounds. He averaged around five points per game in his career. Here's the thing about Rambis, though. He won four NBA championships. That puts Rambis pretty high on the list of players with multiple championships. Other players with four NBA championships include Steph Curry, Shaquille O'Neal, and LeBron James. How was that possible? The reason was the people Rambis played with. People like Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Because his teammates were so great, he experienced the glory of multiple NBA championships. This same thing happens in Psalm 45. It is an unusual psalm because it talks about the greatness of the King of Israel. Usually, psalms focus their attention on God. This one talks about the king that God placed on Israel's throne. Listen to Psalm 45, verses 2 through 5. You are the most handsome of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in your splendor and majesty. In your majesty, ride out victoriously. For the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. Let your right hand teach you awesome deeds. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. The king is described in terms of power, might, beauty, and glory. But we must notice that the psalmist is careful to tell us where the king's glory came from. And he does this in verse 6. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of uprightness. The source of the king's glory is the Lord. The king of Israel is like Kurt Rambis. Both only have glory because of others. We need to recognize this is true for all of us. We want to take credit for all the things in our life that we have accomplished. The Bible teaches us it is wise to instead give the glory to God. He is the reason we have experienced blessing in this life. And He is the reason we can look forward to eternal life with Him through faith in Jesus. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. During our time in the Word on Sunday, we will look at Psalm 45. We'll see you then.